Hey everyone, my name is Cherish from California. My parents immigrated from France. My dad was a CEO of some big business company, and my mom was a well-known fashion designer. And she inspired me to make my own clothes when I got older. I made my dad my personal model during impromptu fashion shows. But before I continue, hit the like and subscribe button, and if you do, your crush will send you a cute message. Believe me, it works. The best part of my life were my childhood best friends, Jesse and Alice. My life was absolutely perfect. I maintained top marks and everyone wanted to be my friend. Even though I was kind to my schoolmates, no one could ever compare to the friendship I had with Jesse and Alice. We did everything together, like shopping. Jesse, you need to try on this top. It's so cute. Only if you try on this top. Sleepovers. The Winchesters are so cute. I would totally marry Dean. While I love Sam, then I get Cass. Study sessions. Are we almost done with this? I mean, we still have to do geometry. Ugh, just end me. Cheerleading. Jesse, the handspring was a bit sloppy. Let me show you how to do it, okay? I'm never gonna get it down. It's hopeless. Sure you can, just follow my lead. Going to the arcade. Alice, you need to aim better. Stop backseat driving. And of course, talking about boys. So, Cherish, who are you crushing on? No one? Yeah, right. I bet it starts with an S. Ugh, go away, Jess. Despite how close we were, I started noticing a difference in Jesse. It started small. During one sleepover, I left the bedroom for a drink and heard her and her mother talking. She'd always been a bit uptight around me and Alice, but I just figured that's how she was. I quickly went back to the bedroom and when Jesse came back, I noticed her face was a bit pale. Jesse, are you all right? I'm fine, Cherish. Are you sure? I overheard some of the stuff you and your mom were talking about. It sounded pretty harsh. You don't know anything, so just drop it, okay? Fine, but I'm here if you need me. That had been our first big argument and things just kept getting worse over time. Alice noticed it and tried to ask me about it, but I didn't really know myself. Things didn't start looking up for me until about a month into my freshman year. I started dating Sam and my friends absolutely loved him. We spoke about my relationship all day. Sam was the captain of the basketball team, a good student, a role model for the guys, and a distant dream for the girls. We were eating ice cream at the park when I thought about my upcoming anniversary. I can't believe that it's our one year anniversary coming up. I'm so excited to see what he has planned for me. I bet I'll take you to that new amusement park that opened up downtown. You know, the one with that crazy cool looking roller coaster. That'll be crazy. What do you think, Jesse? I don't know, but I'm sure you'll love it. She had sounded so weird when she said this and it made me so uneasy. I brushed it off as her just having a bad day, but this pit had been forming in my stomach for a while now and just kept growing and growing the longer Jesse pushed me away. After whatever anniversary surprise Sam had planned, I planned on talking with her. I got a text from Sam telling me to meet up at the park tonight for my surprise. I told them about the text and Alice cheered for me while Jesse looked a bit strange. That night, I remembered putting on my cutest outfit I could find and started to head to the park. When I got there, I saw two figures under the lamppost. I got closer and I couldn't believe what I saw. Sam and Jesse were kissing. My own best friend was kissing my boyfriend? Jesse, Sam, what are you two doing? How could you betray me like this? They both looked at me and smiled evilly, like they enjoyed seeing me upset. What can I say? Jesse is obviously the better option. I don't know what I was thinking when I started dating you. How could you do this, Jesse? You're supposed to be my friend. It's just like Sam said. I'm better than you, so I could kiss whoever I want, including him. Now, I'm gonna take everything else away from you. It was the worst night of my life, and it just seems like a never-ending nightmare. When I told Alice about what happened over the phone, she was absolutely furious. I can't believe that backstabbing goblin, the two-faced troll. Just say the word, I don't mind doing some jail time. No, I don't want you to fight her. I just want answers. I'm gonna talk to her tomorrow. Unfortunately, that was easier said than done. I got the joy of watching Jesse ignore me while flaunting her new relationship everywhere I went. I swear, every corner I turned, all I saw was them. 
It drove me crazy. After a few months, I did get over Sam because he was just a guy, but Jesse's betrayal still hurt like crazy. With no closure, I started slipping. I couldn't concentrate during cheer and kept making so many mistakes, I couldn't help pushing people away who I considered friends once, not sure who I could trust, and I pretty much just shut down. Alice cornered me one day after finding me having a breakdown inside a bathroom stall. Cherish, they want you to break, and you're just letting them win. You gotta pull yourself together. How can I? We've been friends for ages and she just threw it all away like it meant nothing to her? If she's choosing some guy over a childhood friend, then it wasn't much of a friendship in the first place. Cherish, you gotta let it go. As I struggled through the next few weeks, I began to lose everything, just like Jesse promised. She stole my spot on the cheer team, she stole every friend that I had, and she kept Sam by her side every day, not caring how much it hurt me. Not only that, she also started playing annoying pranks on me. I couldn't tell you how many times I had glue in my seat and my locker full of shaving cream. Everything just continued in a downward spiral, and the only thing that I still had control over was my grades in school. I was so grateful that I had Alice by my side because it felt like everyone else was just turning against me. One day, I had enough. I cornered Jessie and shoved her against the wall. Seriously, what is your damage? Why are you doing this to me? Why not? I'm obviously better than you, so I deserve Sam more. I'm so tired of you strutting around like you're some untouchable princess who has the world revolving around you. You've been like this since we were kids, and it's finally time the roles were reversed. I deserve to be happy. Are you really pretending to be some victim finally getting there happily ever after? I've done nothing to deserve this, yet you're painting me out to be some sort of villain. You don't deserve anything. I loved him, but that didn't matter to you. You destroyed my life and our friendship. <laughs> Aw, gonna cry about it to mommy? Everyone laughed and pointed at me, and all I could do was cry. Alice quickly came by my side, and I wondered where everything went wrong. How could Jessie do something so awful? How could she turn into such a terrible person when she was one of my closest friends? I hate you, Jessie. You wanted to destroy our friendship? Fine, mission accomplished. Come on, Cherish, we don't have to stay here. We're better than this. You're better than this. Better than her. I didn't feel any satisfaction watching Jessie's face fall at Alice's words. At this point, I just felt numb and just went through the motions for the rest of my high school years. During all of that, I never allowed my parents to find out what was happening. But I did tell them that Jessie was no longer our friend. They were concerned, but thankfully let me handle things by myself. I graduated as valedictorian and never once looked back at Jesse or Sam. I had decided that I didn't need toxic people in my life. It hurt me to lose my bestie and it wasn't an easy decision, but I knew it was the right thing to do. Five years passed and I managed to capture my dream job. Alice and I started our own fashion line, pretty hot. We poured our blood, sweat, and tears into our designs and were rewarded after a rising celebrity wore one of our dress suits when she walked the red carpet. After that, our store blew up. Even though my job kept me extremely busy, I couldn't help think about Jessie from time to time. I remember just snooping through her social media and saw that her and Sam broke up. I thought terrible people stuck together, birds of a feather and all that. I still can't believe after all that, she didn't even stay with him. Ugh, enough thinking about her. Let's get this celebrity's dress finished. Life was perfect, but extremely busy. We finally decided to take some days off, and Alice and I went to the park for a casual stroll. We were talking and laughing about some childhood memories when something caught my eye. I couldn't believe it. It was Jessie. Jessie? Cherish, Alice, could we talk, please? Why should we talk to you? I want to explain myself. Please, just hear me out. She looked so desperate, and I couldn't help but feel pity towards her. That, and I wanted answers. I brought her over to a nearby bench, and we sat down facing each other. I don't understand, Jessie. Why did you steal Sam? We'd been best friends since we were babies. Why ruin that and steal Sam from me? I'm so sorry, Cherish. I was just so jealous of you, and I thought dating Sam would make me happier. Instead, I just destroyed our friend group. Why would you be jealous of me? You're smart, funny, and insanely gorgeous. Ugh, 
Yet none of those traits matter when you're ugly on the inside. I nudged Alice's ribs, and Jessie started crying hard. You're right, Alice, but you two don't get it. Your parents adore you, while my mom couldn't care less. I would have preferred that she at least hated me, but instead, she's just completely indifferent. Whenever she did talk to me, she would always compare me with you, and nothing I did was ever good enough. So, instead of going to an adult like a guidance counselor, you resort to bullying? <sighs> Hindsight is 2020. I just started getting so self-conscious. And when my self-esteem slipped, jealousy and hatred started consuming me. Once I started dating Sam, my mom finally started complimenting me for something. It was the first time in a long time that she said something positive about me. Jesse, why didn't you try to reach out? Instead, you just turned into a huge bully. I know, what I did was terrible. No, you don't know. You have no idea how it feels to watch them turn their back on you, to have them actively put you down, or to struggle to get out of bed every morning just to force yourself to go to school. For the first time in a long time, I could finally let go of that burden from my shoulders. It felt so good to clear the air with Jessie and hear her side of the story, but I still felt this hole in my chest. I thought this would finally give me closure, but I was still missing something. Looking at her teary expression, I wanted to feel sorry for her, but I couldn't bring myself to. I understand. Sometime during our childhood, I stopped seeing you as a friend and started seeing you as a reason to be angry. I know my mother's behavior isn't an excuse for what I've done, but I really do just want to make this right. I could tell how regretful and sincere she was, so I took a deep breath and decided to let go. I glanced at Alice and saw the look on her face. Even though she claimed Jesse was public enemy number one after everything that happened, I knew that she did miss when it was the three of us. Look, it'll take a while before we can get back to how we used to be, if ever, really. But we've got some time off from work for a few days. How about we catch up at the cafe? Really? You guys are willing to give me another chance even after everything that's happened? Don't get too happy. You have a long way to go. But you can start groveling by buying us some lattes.